Hey guys, Spur Girl here, back from another video, and today I am back playing some Royal High School. And since you guys loved the last one, I am back with another How to Get the Halo video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get the brand new Mermaid Halo. Now I know I'm a bit late, the Halo has been out for like 3 weeks now. But I wanted to wait a little bit to film this video because if you've seen my other How to Get the Halo videos, I basically like, you know, show you different games that tell you of the Halo stories and show you a video of someone getting it. And for a while, no games or videos existed, so I had to wait until, you know, those kind of things were released. And now I finally found them so I could film this video. But before we get into how to get the Halo, there has been an update to Royal High that I want to show you guys real quick. Also, sorry if I sound a bit weird. My, my nose is a bit sniffly right now. But anyways, so there has been new outfits added. As you can see, there's a bunch of kind of summer themed outfits because summer is very soon. I'm very excited for summer, by the way. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for summer. But yeah, there's been new outfits and a new skirt. Here it is, the new skirt. What is it called again? It is called the Sparkly Sarong. I probably said that very wrong. But it's different than most of the Royal High skirts, as you can see. It's not very poofy. It's kind of just like a little thing that's like wrapped around her waist. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna buy it because I'm saving up for this, the Magical Guardian of Love and Justice skirt. It's gonna take me a super long time to save up for it because I have 11,000 and this is 28,000 but I'm gonna save up for this so I'm not gonna be buying the skirt. But yeah, I added that and stuff and also one of the older heels was like reworked and stuff. But the most exciting thing about this update was, if you click on the mood here, first of all it changed the way it looks. And as you can see there is a key binding mode. And if you click on it, basically you can assign different animations to a certain key on your keyboard. So you don't have to go and click on move to do it, you can just press a key. Now unfortunately this is only a feature that is on computer, but it is still pretty cool. Like for example, if I wanted to do the holding camera animation, I would click on it and make it uh, the R key. And I go hit save, and if I click the R key, see look, I do the animation, and you just click on it again to get rid of it. And you can always go back and get rid of the key if you don't want to do that anymore. But yeah, I think it's super cool. This is going to be so helpful for role plays. I already have role play videos in mind that this will be very helpful for, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to get into the actual video, but, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. If you didn't know, the wheel is back now. It was first under maintenance and then it just disappeared but now it's back with new accessories. I really want the new tiara accessories so let's just hope I get that. Tiara, 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 please, 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 please. Tiara, 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 tiara. Diamonds, how much? 200 diamonds, okay, that's still good. But anyways, I'm going to get into the actual video now, so yeah. Now, as always, there is a new badge for the Halo. Let me go ahead and scroll down. So if you scroll all the way down in the badges, you will see this secret waterfall. And the picture is a little mermaid tail and it says only those who can sing the ocean song can unlock the secret. As always, the badge is a little bit mysterious. You don't really know what it means. All you know is that it gives you the Halo. I mean, it doesn't give you the Halo. You get this badge if you get the Halo. And here is the reason why it took me three weeks to find a video and games to show you. This Halo is super rare. As you can see, only 28 people won it yesterday and 727 people won it ever. That is crazy. I don't understand why these Halos are getting even more rare. Like, it was already hard enough for me to get Halos and now the... She just keeps making them even more rare, so that's great. <laughs> also, in my last Halo video, I said that the Easter Halo was supposed to be easier to get, but apparently not because only 2,000 people want it. Now, I know what you're thinking. 2,000 may seem like a lot, but as you can see, there are a lot of people that play Royal High. 48,000 are playing right now. So if only 2,000 out of that got the Easter Halo, then that must have mean that it was really rare. But yeah, that's why it took me so long to film this video because it's so rare. 
and it's harder for people to, you know, make games about it and stuff. But anyways, let me go ahead and find a picture of a mermaid halo to show you so you know what it looks like. So I found this picture on Google that was taken from somebody's thumbnail. As you can see, this halo is very pretty. There's a reason it's called the mermaid halo. There's a bunch of little, like, pearls, and then there's, like, seashells. I gotta say, this is definitely one of the prettiest halos so far. I think this halo, the Valentine's Day halo, and the rainbow halo are my favorite halos of all time. They're just super pretty. Hopefully I'll be able to get this one. Probably not because it's even more rare. But anyways, this is what the mermaid halo looks like. Very pretty. And now I'm going to be showing you some games that tell you halo stories. Now I actually favorited them so that I didn't have to find them again. But here are the two games. So the first one I'm going to show you is this. How to get the mermaid halo. Made by GLMM Gotcha. So it says in the description that they're getting stories every day to add. Which is great. So let's go ahead and play it. And I will show you guys the stories. So you kind of spawn in a weird area. It's like some sort of weird thing with a bunch of different like hats and stuff. And then asks you to like buy random stuff. But if you just walk past all of this, you will find the Halo stories. So there's a lot of different random stuff in this game. But I think the Halo stories were up here. Yeah, okay. Up here is a few stories. So at the moment, there are only three stories in this game. Because obviously, like I said... It's really rare, so it's hard for them to collect stories from people. But up here it says it is 50 diamonds for all stories. So, this one says, so Leon says there are new boots. 50 diamonds. You go to a festival and see Leon. 50 diamonds. And over here it says you see a mermaid. 50 diamonds. So those are the stories. Go ahead and write them down in your notes or something. Also, I forgot to mention... There is a chance that getting the halo is completely random. It doesn't really matter what story you get or how many diamonds you throw in. So if you don't get one of these stories or you can't afford the right amount of diamonds to throw in, don't worry about it. Just throw in whatever because there is still a chance at getting a halo for all stories. But I still like knowing these stories because I personally feel like, oh, well, this person got this story and threw this amount of diamonds and got the halo. So maybe if I do that, I'll get the Halo too. That's just my personal opinion. But like I said, don't worry about it if you don't get the right story or something because there's still a chance of getting the Halo for all stories. But anyways, those are all the stories in this game. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. So the next game is called Royal Society by Maisley. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Now this is actually not just a Halo game. You can do some other stuff in there too. But it does include Halo stories, so I'm going to be showing it off in this video. So let's go ahead and join and t check out the Halo stories. Alright, so as you can see when you join, this is a very nice looking game, very well built. So, they have a few different things to do here. There's a fan story, you can dress up, and then there's also the Halo stories. I mean, while we're here, we might as well dress up, right? So it's welcome to your public closet. So let's see, what do we want to do first? Let's do wigs first. Oh, okay, these are Roblox hairs. Let me go ahead and re remove my wig. I'm just gonna go with this hair. This one's pretty cute. And then let's do makeup next. All right, ooh, they have like royal high faces on here. So they have different creators, but my favorite creator is Mugalo, Mugalo, I don't know. But they make... Amazing faces as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this one. This is one of my favorite faces. There we go And now let me just quickly choose an outfit. Oh, there's different styles. Let's go into the cute room Okay. Oh, I love these clothes. Ooh, let's go with this this one. I like this one. There we go Okay, we're all dressed up now. We can read the halo stories. All right, so let's go into the halo stories room So they actually have all the different halos here. I mean, this is great Why didn't I find this game before this would have been so helpful for my other videos But anyways, we're gonna go into the mermaid halo room and at the moment She only has two stories because again the halo is super rare, but let's go ahead and read these stories Shall we? Today is a special town celebration honoring the peace treaty between Davidia and the merpeople from a nearby Oceanic City. Leon has even opened the royal gate so merpeople and fairies alike can gather on the grass by the waterside for this special event. Before you head over, you wonder if you should make a special wish at the fountain to see if you can win a halo to wear at the party. And then you throw in 100 diamonds and you get the halo. So that's one of the stories. You can go ahead and write it down in your notes. And now for the second story. Leon, the guard of Davidia, has announced a group of mermaids and 
Mermen from a nearby land are visiting town today for Mer People Cultural Day. You wonder to yourself, what are they going to bring to show their culture culture this time? You decide that before they get here, you'd like to make a wish at the fountain for good luck. There are 100 diamonds, and you get the halo. So those are the two stories you can get for this game. You can go ahead and write them down in your notes. Now there is something that I would like to say. If you get this, if you get a story and throw in the right amount of diamonds, it's not guaranteed for you to get a halo. Like you're not gonna get this story, throw in 100 diamonds, and get it first try. Keep in mind all halos are very rare and you have to be patient. You're definitely not going to get it at your first try at the fountain so just keep trying and maybe you'll get it. But anyways that is all for this game. Make sure to go check it out because it definitely is a pretty cool game even if you're not looking for halo stories. But yeah moving on. So those are the two games I want to show you. Now moving on to the video. Now I found this video on YouTube. It is a video of uh, somebody getting the mermaid halo and they caught it on camera. So let me go ahead and show you. So here is the video. It is called I Got the Mermaid Slash Summer Halo 2019 by Minari Gamer. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. But let's go ahead and watch the video. I'm not going to give away too much of our video. You can go ahead and watch it. I might link it in the description. But let's go ahead and play it. So it says you approach the fountain and see that next to it someone builds a giant sand castle with seashell details. Now, I have gotten this story many times, and I did not know that it was one of the stories that you could get. You wonder who put in the tremendous effort of bringing so much sand from the ocean floor to the fountain. You want to explore the life-size castle, but decide to make a wish at the fountain before entering. So let's see how many diamonds she throws in. So she's throwing in 25 diamonds, and let's see. Okay, her screen turns a dark blue, and she gets the secret waterfall badge so i'm pretty sure the winter halo turned like your screen like a light blue or something but this time it's a dark blue all right so it says plus rare item and let's see what it looks like on her avatar all right so she's scrolling through her accessories and here it is the mermaid halo so this is what it looks like on her avatar as i said before it's super pretty but yeah so that was the video i'll try to link in the description if i remember but yeah moving on so I'm here on my notes, and I'm going to just be going over all the stories that I have told you so far, plus three bonus stories. So, these are the stories that I got from the two games that I showed you. Number one, you go to a festival and see Leon, 50 diamonds. Number two, Leon said there are new boots, 50 diamonds. Number three, you see a mermaid, 50 diamonds. Leon announces Mer People Cultural Day, 100 diamonds. Celebration honoring peace between T Divinia and Mer people, 100 diamonds. And this is the story that I got from the video I just showed you. You see a ca sand castle with seashell details, 25 diamonds. And now moving on to the three bonus stories. So I got these stories from other YouTubers, like interviews. I don't know who these are by, so sorry, but credit to whoever I found these by. But number one, you go surfing with your friends and fall into the water. A dolphin saves you. 200 diamonds. Tommy Bob says Davinia is getting warmer, but it is stormy. 200 diamonds. That's supposed to say Davinia, but it autocorrected to divine. <laughs> Davinia is having a beach food and cider tasting event, and now I'm not sure how many diamonds they threw in. They didn't say in the video I watched, but somewhere uh, in the story they said something about booths. And over here they it says Leon says there are new boots. So I don't know if they meant booths or boots, but I don't know, maybe just try throwing in 50 diamonds for it if they accidentally did boots instead of booths. So that is all the information I want to share with you today. Now to end the video off, we are going to go back into Royal High and try for the Halo. So I am back into the video. I'm in a, I'm in a public server this time, but let's go ahead and see if I'm going to get it. Probably not, but... We can still hope. At least I'll get some diamonds from it, right? I mean, hopefully. Today, your friends invited you to go sailing on their boat on the Divinian Sea. I don't think this is one of the stories, but let's still try because, like I said before, there's still a chance on getting the Halo for any story. You feel so excited to have fun with them, but want to make sure you have luck on your side. So you approach the fountain with your diamonds, clutch in your hand, and come up with a wish. Let's throw in 200 diamonds. You make your wish and head to the bridge to find your friends, Connie, Sakura, and Theo. The four of you jump in the boat and sail to the sea. Suddenly a storm hits and the waves start crashing powerfully. Your boat can't take such wild waves and it tips over, leaving the four of you have to swim to have to swim back to shore. I lost 200 diamonds. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. Anyways, guys, that is it for this how to get the Halo video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Let me know in the comments if you have any other um, Halo tricks or if there's anything else in World High that you want me to check out. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!